Hey, what's up? This is Phil Cunningham with Steps of Justice in San Diego. Uh, Steps of Justice is a ministry of YWAM that uh, a couple of friends and myself started uh, about six years ago. Uh, really to look at the injustice of the world and how we as followers of Jesus can uh, bring hope and care for the poor and the vulnerable. Uh, so we do that in a few ways, just to kind of share what we do. Uh, one is we work in Cambodia. We partner with a few different organizations uh, working with children at risk, uh, kids at risk uh, in poor vulnerable communities of drugs or gangs or some sort of violence, uh, working with issues of education, uh, the poor doing uh, water filter distribution, uh, and really just partnering uh, and seeing uh, our hearts changed as we walk in empathy uh, towards those who are um, kind of the most vulnerable uh, and, and just bringing hope and empowering them, uh, working alongside and with other organizations who are doing just great, great things. Um, we also work in San Diego, specifically with the refugee community. Um, the refugee crisis right now and for so many years has been huge and we've been wondering how we can engage that and how we can stand alongside and really love the refugee community. And so we, uh, we do home visitations, we work in, uh, in schools uh, looking at issues of education as education brings so much um, empowerment and so much healing and, uh, and uh, assimilation into culture for communities coming in, specifically the Syrian community right now. Uh, and also working with uh, doing picnics and gatherings for the refugee community in San Diego. Um, our friends Jimmy and Amanda are uh, heading up the Justice DTS with YWAM Grimrud in Norway. We really, really love this couple and we love the heart of this DTS that has been run at the Grimrud base for so many years now. Uh, we're, we've been partnering with them for many years in Cambodia, in San Diego, and uh, we just think that they carry this heart for compassion and justice that is so needed in our world today. Um, you know, God has called us to love other people. He's called us to care for the poor, to visit the sick, uh, to hang out with those in prison. Uh, he's called us to stand alongside and bring hope and freedom to the captives. And that's what this school is all about. It's really providing an awareness of injustice um, and then just practical ways that you and I can get involved. We were not put on this world. We were not created uh, for our lives to be all about us. We were created to worship God. And one of the ways that we worship God is through our actions of loving other people and showing who God is. Um, that's who we were made to be. We were made in the image of God, made in female, male and female, we were made in his image. And so what does it mean to be made in the image of God? Well, it means to live out our lives as Jesus did. And Jesus uh, was asked, this is one of my favorite passages in the Bible. He was asked by uh, John the Baptist, his disciples, hey, go and see if he's the one. And it says that his disciples uh, cruised over, they found Jesus and they said, hey, Jesus, John wants to know if you're the one. And in, in that hour, he healed many people. The good news was preached to the poor. Uh, the lame walked, the deaf could hear, and he said, go and tell John what you see. And uh, he showed that he was God through his compassion and mercy and justice. And so, uh, yeah, if you are looking for a school, if you're looking to be educated in justice issues, if you're looking for community, if you're looking for something beautiful, you can check out the Justice DTS, YMM Grimrud, and our good friends over there.